King Charles III has asked British lawmakers to appoint Princess Anne and Prince Edward to a key role, potentially swerving a future crisis involving Prince Harry and Prince Andrew. Charles has asked the House of Lords to make his sister, the Princess Royal, and youngest brother, the Earl of Wessex, councillors of state, meaning they would be able to stand in and carry out his official duties when he is either too ill or on an overseas visit. British monarchs do not have a deputy, like the US president, but have a string of named senior royals who perform crucial functions when they are unavailable. During Queen Elizabeth II's reign, Charles and William were among those able to stand in should they have been required, leaving non-working royals Prince Andrew and Prince Harry some way down the list. However, the death of Britain's longest reigning monarch has shortened the queue among councillors of state, raising the prospect that Andrew or Harry might be called upon in times of crisis. Camilla, Queen Consort, is among the councillors of state but would likely want to accompany Charles on any international visits meaning she may not in reality be in a position to solve any problem that arose. Charles wrote in a statement to the House of Lords, to ensure continued efficiency of public business when I am unavailable, such as while I am undertaking official duties overseas, I confirm that I would be most content, should Parliament see fit, for the number of people who may be called upon to act as councillors of state under the terms of the Regency Acts 1937 to 1953 to be increased to include my sister and brother, the Princess Royal and the Earl of Wessex Forfer, both of whom have previously undertaken this role. Role. Royal biographer Robert Jobson, author of William at 40 and Prince Charles at 70, told Newsweek the move was sensible given the scandal surrounding Prince Andrew's friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. He said, they are additions which, given what has happened with Prince Andrew, I believe sensible. It shows the king has total confidence in his sister, Anne, who has been a stalwart, and his youngest brother, who has worked hard for the firm without too much public recognition. It also shows they have won his trust completely. The firm is an informal title for the British royal family, perhaps used most famously by Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, during their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. Andrew was accused of rape by Virginia Jufri who said she was forced to have sex with him when she was a 17-year-old Epstein sex trafficking victim. Andrew denied the accusation and settled out of court without admitting liability. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex quit royal duties in 2020 and have been controversial figures in the British media. There are regular calls from commentators, including Piers Morgan, for them to be stripped of their royal titles, especially after they criticized the monarchy during their interview with Winfrey. However, Jobson told Newsweek that beyond any backlash over the rift between the Sussexes and the royal family, it would be impractical for Harry to fly home to Britain any time other senior royals were all out of the country at the same time. The author said, he has to be in Britain to do it. Even if Harry remains a councillor of state it's impractical, it doesn't work when the king is abroad. If the king goes to America, Harry is hardly likely to step in for him when he is in America too. Anti-monarchy campaign group Republic wrote on Twitter, nepotism is a feature of the British constitution. How difficult would it be to replace the councillors of state with qualified people, such as Supreme Court judges? And do these councillors actually need to exist at all? Hashtag abolish the monarchy. Richard Eden, diary editor of the Daily Mail, wrote on Twitter, Hashtag King Charles is celebrating his birthday by making sure that Hashtag Prince Harry and Hashtag Prince Andrew can never represent him again, as two of his four councillors of state. He's right to do so. Hashtag royal.